Well, finally tonight, an opportunity to take a closer look at a local uh, organization in the country has revealed some harsh realities about things that people in this country face every day. But as harsh as that reality is, we found out that the Great Commission Ministries is transcending the darkness for many who cannot provide food, clothing and shelter for their families. Black Village was the first stop for Grayland Monker. At Great Commission Ministries, the elderly and shut-in get the honor of eating first at its much-needed daily feeding. Inside his minivan are 41 meals carefully packed away to be delivered to senior citizens in communities as far away as South Beach. It's something I found out starts in a tiny kitchen where the most important ingredient is love. I kind of like sympathize with them because I know how it feels to go against without eating and without having a hot meal. His is one of many faces that you don't expect to see in a place that demands the wisdom, compassion and heart that usually comes with age. It ain't basically helping them, it's helping me too, and it's helping me grow. And certain areas of my life, you know that, you know, sometimes when God brings you out of something, you can't really forget where you come from. You always got to remember that, you know, you was once there too. Sharon Johnson is like a mother to Carlton, and the rest of her team, she calls the boys. Okay. No, I don't need to be in my family. Mm -hmm. stick it, stick it. With more than 300 meals to prepare daily, I got to see firsthand how their choreography in a small kitchen gets 1,500 weekly hot meals done with little space and even fewer words. Well, I have a chance even to communicate with them, like on a daily basis, pray with them, counsel them or whatever they're going through. I'm able to talk to them and point them the right way and let them know that there is still hope and that's like ministry to me. Within the first few minutes of preparations, I began to experience overwhelming joy. That is obviously their labor of love. It's hard work that goes a long way in lifting up the forgotten who find their way to the doors of the Great Commission Ministries every day by the droves. In the heart of the city, we heard the cries of children and saw the relief on the faces of many mothers and fathers who were thankful for food that would stop the crying, if only for a while. Theirs is the poverty that's obvious. Uh, so people in very influential neighborhoods now are finding themselves um, in financial crisis, cannot pay their electricity bill, cannot pay um, um, the utili other utilities. So they need help, but they have to eat. So if they, don't even, if they don't pay a bill, they have to eat. And for Mrs. Green, who visits the kitchen daily, it's this compassion that counts most. Oh, Lord, and people like me, man. Like and they like me, yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, in part two of this series, we meet more people behind the scenes of this mission of hope who help make the struggle at least bearable.